Look at the images of thousands of mourners, dressed in black, beat their chests as a truck covered in white flowers, and carrying caskets wrapped in the national flag slowly moved through the crowd. Yes, it's the day of 20. First May, when the funeral ceremony for Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi took place in Qom on Tuesday, who was killed in a helicopter crash near Azerbaijan border. Raisi, along with his foreign minister and seven others, died in the crash over the weekend. In the city of Qom, mourners carried Raisi's coffin, waved Iran's flag, and held pictures of the late president. Raisi, a hardliner and potential successor to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, died when his helicopter crashed in poor weather in the mountains. Officials and state media reported on Monday, May 20, Raisi's body will be taken to Tehran's Grand Mosala Mosque before being transferred to his hometown of Mashhad for burial on Thursday, May 23. These government-led ceremonies aim to honor the deceased and project strength amid regional instability. Mass demonstrations have been significant for Iran's Shiite theocracy since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, which saw millions welcome Grand Ayatollah Ruhollah Ruhollah Khomeini and later attend his funeral in 1989. In 2020, around one million people attended processions for the late Revolutionary Guard, General Qasem Soleimani, killed in a U.S. drone strike in Baghdad. It remains uncertain if Razi and the others will draw a similar crowd. Authorities have warned against public celebrations of Razi's death, with a heavy security presence in Tehran since the crash. Supreme Leader Khamenei announced five days of public mourning and expressed condolences to the Iranian people. Khamenei stated that first Vice President Mohammad Makhbar will serve as interim president with an election to choose a new president scheduled for June 28. Candidates can register from May 30 to June 3, according to Iranian state media.